Donald Trump campaign raises $46 million in fourth quarter. Hello and welcome to TSD. If you are new to the channel, tap on the subscription button and press the notification bell so you can receive news and updates that you can rely on daily. President Donald Trump's re-election campaign announced Thursday it had raised $46 million in the fourth quarter of 2019, according to Reuters. The numbers include just the Trump campaign's fundraising, which combined with the RNC fundraising hall, will deliver another unprecedented funding boost for his re-election campaign. A senior campaign official said the campaign hall was few. One of the most important things, of course, is cash on hand and dry powder. Right. What do you have? And you talked about the numbers um, from Bernie Sanders and how they compared to President Trump, who pulled in in the fourth quarter. I'm looking for that number right 46, here. 46.5 46 million. Dollars point. And but cash. what's important is that he has 103 or 105 million on hand that is ready to be spent. And the only other person who has that much powder left to burn is. Bloomberg. And he has a whole I mean, lot Michael more. Bloomberg come in and whole, just, it could just be a money, just. The president has a is. whole lot more flexibility than the yeah. Democrats at this point in mm -hmm. time, too, right? He's got all this cash, but he has a lot more flexibility in terms of timing. He can spend it now, he can spend it later. They don't have yeah. that luxury. They're fighting a primary debate over the, over the coming months. They've got to spend a lot of the cash on hand in order to ward off their opponents. The president. This is really like That's the President Trump is sending more American troops to the Middle East today where tensions are rising between the U.S. and Iran. Thousands of demonstrators have finally left the U.S. embassy in Iraq after days of violent attacks. The unrest began with Iranian backed militia supporters protesting American airstrikes that killed dozens of fighters last weekend. Now they're demanding U.S. troops leave Iraq. Ian Lee has the latest from Baghdad. The U.S. is beefing up its security presence in Iraq after the embassy was attacked. But as the violence subsides, many wonder what this means for U.S.-Iraq relations. The Iranian-backed protesters outside the U.S. embassy may have stopped for now. They dismantled their camp and moved across the river. But what they left behind wasn't just parts of the compound scorched and in ruins, but also U.S.-Iraqi relations in tatters. This recent crisis saw Iran flex its muscles, revealing the extent of Tehran's influence in the country. Just moments ago, the stock market opened for the first time in 2020, hot off its strongest showing in the last six years. A storing stock market, low unemployment and big job growth. Those are the talking points we have heard over and over from the president as he paints the economy as one of his very biggest wins. But those numbers don't tell the whole story. They failed to include the tax cuts that benefited major companies, but not the American worker. A massive chunk of the population who doesn't invest in the stock market and Americans across the country who need to work two jobs just to make ends meet. Joining me now to discuss Ben White, chief economic correspondent for Politico, and Jeremy Peters back with me. Jeremy, in your latest piece, you write about how Democrats and Republicans are both using the economy to connect to voters. Talk about that. Right. Trump likes to say, I deserve credit for all of this. And if you elect one of those. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Very fun show we got in store for you guys, including our predictions, which mine are always right, and our resolutions. We're also taking a look back at some of our best moments from 2019 here on the 5 Plus. We're answering some of your fan mail questions. But first, 2020. It's going to be a huge year for politics with a very pivotal election. Before we look ahead, let's rewind to some of the most amusing moments from the campaign trail, starting with the gaff machine himself, Sleepy Joe. Watch. My name's Joe Biden. I'm running for, in this case, running for President of the United States. Look me over. If you like what you see, help out. If not, vote for the other person. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. We choose science over fiction. We choose truth over facts. Look, uh, look, here's the deal. Play the radio. Make sure the television, the, excuse me, make sure you have the record player on at night. If you agree with me, go to Joe 3. Donald Trump campaign raises $46 million in fourth quarter. Hello and welcome to TSD. If you are new to the channel, tap on the subscription button and press the notification bell so you can receive news and updates that you can rely on daily. 
President Donald Trump's re-election campaign announced Thursday it had raised $46 million in the fourth quarter of 2019, according to Reuters. The numbers include just the Trump campaign's fundraising, which combined with the RNC fundraising hall, will deliver another unprecedented funding boost for his re-election campaign. A senior campaign official said the campaign hall was fueled in part by a surge of donations after Democrats pursued the impeachment of the president. The number stomps Democrats' fundraising numbers, including Sarah Bernie Sanders raising more than $34 million and Mayor Pete Buttigieg raising $25 million in the fourth quarter. President Trump now has $102.7 million cash on hand, according to a Trump campaign official. As 2020 dawns, I'm proud to be working hard for Donald Trump's re-election, wrote Trump campaign communications director Tim Murtaugh on Twitter. His wins for all Americans, the strong and growing economy and promises made and kept will ensure victory. Let us know your thoughts on the president's mind-blowing success in winning the people's support and still holding on to it in the comments down below. And haven't you checked out the official TST store yet? It has a variety of Patriot-themed custom t-shirts, sweatshirts, mugs, phone cases, and lots more. Make sure to take a look and maybe help us out by picking some products for yourself and your loved ones at great prices. It does make a huge difference to what we're doing here. Link in the description below. If you've liked this report, let us know by tapping that like button down below, share the news among friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more news and updates on TST. I'm David Ravine, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.